Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is DeFree, and for today's video, since Marvel Snap is officially launching worldwide on October 18th, I wanted to go ahead and jump back in as I've been playing the game for a few months. I really enjoy it, and I wanted to kind of explain to you guys what you're getting yourself into when it comes down to this game, give you a general beginner guide, things you need to look forward to, and how the game functions and what practices are instated for a game like this. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you find the video useful slash helpful, be sure to share the video with your friends and hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you play the game and you have been playing it for a while, uh, let me know what your favorite card art variant is. When it comes down to it, for me personally, my Spider-Man card art variant is my favorite. I want to just show you guys this. It's really, really cool. So here's the base Spider-Man card, and here's the, one of the variants. So cards have a lot of variants, and variants are the main moneymaker for this game. We'll talk about that in a minute, but this is my favorite. He looks so cool. Uh, there's another one I saw yesterday that had like Symbiote Spider-Man, and it's there are effects are the same it's just a, it's just a different art right but really really cool if you play actual card games you you're you're, you're accustomed to that where they got the special rares or different arts right so uh let's go to the shop here so the shop is and by the way i want to say I, i've been playing I'm, we're not losing these accounts if you've been playing like i'm gonna keep all this stuff i'm gonna basically have a decent advantage <laughs> everybody's been playing all along has got a decent advantage it is what it is uh <clears throat> so the first thing you'll see is this welcome bundle if you are inclined to spend any money to support the game at all if not that's up to you that's fine but three dollars for 700 gold primarily and that avatar is pretty nice that alternate art that variant art for captain america is really cool too but this you'll probably never get this much of value again 700 gold is quite pricey if you look down here 700 gold is actually ten dollars it's, it's not bad i guess depends who you ask but if you play a lot of gotcha games or mobile games 700 gold for ten dollars isn't terrible but again depends who you're talking to so <clears throat> moving on uh, like I said, variance is where they get most of what's happening here. Because as you see, gold is used for exchanges for variants. Uh, also, for the record, gold can be used to exchange for credits. We'll talk about that in a minute. And here's how you get gold here. If you were to purchase it, we'll talk about free ways to get gold as well in a second. But this is a general shop. So if you're going to want to get these card art variants, you're going to get them here. However, when it comes to unlocking card art variants, you can do that as well in a more natural means. But you don't really control it in terms of like, if you can't, you know, if I wanted to say I'm going to get a claw variant, I can come here and exchange for it directly. However, you know, you can get them a little bit later on or through different means we'll talk about that separately so overall though uh, that's generally how this game functions in terms of that aspect of it now this is a general card game deck and every every card has a different effects or they won't have effects it's just different things they've got their own costs they've got their own uh, power it's a very easy and simple game to play it's, every match typically lasts only like five minutes unless somebody is like literally stalling <laughs> uh, here's Hawkeye with two different variants by the way uh, uh, there's a lot of variants anyways so every match is really quick very uh short and sweet games so let's show you guys this deck here for example um this is a deck centered around an archetype of movement we have craven here when a card moves to where he's at he gets plus two power multiple man when he moves he creates a copy at the old location that he was at and so it, they have archetypes right centered around different things like destroying your own cards or discarding your cards from your hand uh there are vanilla cards that are really really good in certain decks like it just kind of depends what you're doing but it's really just a card game uh and it's it's really fun especially because like again like i said again it's not it's not really like Yu Gi Oh, where you're gonna sit there for 20 minutes or longer <laughs> they're only like five minutes at max typically um so the the most important thing you'll see is collection level now this is where you're getting a large majority of your stuff you're going to start this game at level one, by the way. I'm all the way up to 1600. You're going to start at level one. So the way you improve card level is you come here and you upgrade cards. So while you play matches or if you complete battle pass missions, it, but sometimes the game will also in the collection level that we're looking at. Sometimes one of the rewards will be to get uh, some of the, uh, the, the collection materials you need to improve your characters here. What are they called? What are, they, what are they called like souls or whatever i don't know but the materials you need to improve your cards will get awarded to you right and as you improve them let's go ahead and improve this hawkeye here you see it says right here gain one collection level and if the card is a higher level already it goes up so let's pull up a different card here uh spider-man miles 
he goes up by two to go to the, the rare rarity so on and so forth right so as you improve your your cards you do get higher collection levels here so heimdall if i would improve him he would give me four right so let's just do that really quick just to show what happens so this is the general loop of the game when it comes to improving your account um and when that happens there's no like added effects in like in terms of like oh heimdall only did this now but now he gains one power or whatever that's not how this game works the effects and power and stuff and and cost to play them stays the same unless there's a balance update that they literally push through to the entire player base to change that card on a general scale so i got four levels here we got some boosters they're there that's what they're called boosters <laughs> so this is what you need to level up your 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 card so this is for the leech card specifically 10 the amount you need varies based on the rarity you're going up to obviously uh and then collector's reserve these are the ones that are very 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 important because what happens here is you have a chance to get new cards or you have chances to get uh you have chances to get other things like currencies or sometimes avatars or card variants like you get this is why i was saying that you can get card variants through different means you get here but you don't actually see collector reserves until you get i think to level 1000 right i think it's it gets 1000 because as you well it won't show me here but if you're at a lower level it tells you directly what card you're getting but after a certain point it becomes more rng based yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. I, I've been playing for a few months, but uh, after a while, it becomes more uh, RNG based. So anyways, moving on. So basically, yeah, you're going to want to level up cards to get there. And in order to do that, you will need, like I said, the currency for that, which is here, the credits, right? So if you wanted to purchase credits, uh, you could do that by exchanging it for gold, right? You could purchase credits here. You could buy gold to buy credits and go on from there. You can't do this a limitless amount of times, though. You can't buy gold or credits a limitless amount of times. There are going to be caps on it uh, to limit how quickly you can progress, even if you spend money. So I guess there's that as a, a means of balance. Uh, and there is a 50 credits free once per day as well. So as you see, I'm on cooldown for that, but 50 once per day. Uh, other than that, you're going to be getting a lot of your credits and resources from missions. Uh, so as you go ahead and play, you're going to have different objectives for you to complete. These are your standard ones. They refill every so often. You can also force them to by using gold. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and as you complete these, you will also unlock these ones at the top, which also give you more currency. So keep that in mind. And they also funnel into the season pass. The season pass will have their own objectives on a weekly basis as you see the chapter two unlocks here and chapter five unlocks in three weeks so on a weekly basis the season pass will update with new objectives for you to do such as destroying cards or playing specific cards or winning in certain conditions or whatever the case is it just kind of depends but the battle pass is another means of revenue here i bought this one because i really like miles uh and i, I bought the uh, the nick fury one because i like nick fury too but <clears throat> ultimately in the battle pass there's going to be free rewards and non-free rewards so keep that in mind the traditional cost is 10 usd but you can also buy the higher one to get you know the, the levels unlocked as well so very general battle pass stuff you probably are familiar with whether you've got the paid track and the not paid track so uh that's basically the general gist of the game ultimately there's not really a ton left in here it's a very simple very easy game to play and understand so to kind of recap <clears throat> the the card art variants are typically going to be exchangeable here you will get gold at a decent clip if you play and complete the events as you see uh we come back to the missions you'll get gold at a decent clip it's not going to be here but it will be in these so here's 10 gold there's 15 make it all the way through complete these there's 100 you know and it'll be in the battle pass sometimes you'll get gold at a decent clip but don't expect to get you know uh, a card aren't varying every week if you're not going to spend money it's just not going to happen but uh, in terms of buying them but you can get them here like i said as an opportunity drop but you can't you can't directly say like i said earlier i want to get a claw card art variant it's just not going to be something you could determine and on top of that though it can be a variant that like you can get a, a claw variant but it may not be this exact one it might be a different one or one you didn't really want or whatever so that's kind of the value to coming there and just directly purchasing it but just play with the game and understand the game and try to figure out which cards and archetypes you want to play around it's a very fun game like i said very easy uh straightforward game too so hope you guys enjoy and like i said stay tuned because i will be coming back and doing a video talking about the best beginner card 
cards to to try to key in on and focus on when it comes to starting the account fresh and starting brand new so if you guys are excited about that like i said stay tuned hit the thumbs up and subscribe i'm pretty sure we covered on everything if i forgot to cover anything at all i'll post it in the comments or post in the comments or respond to you and we'll kind of keep the discussion going there so once again have an awesome day thank you for your support and i'll see you all in the next marvel snap video